The Glastonbury Tour Handicap Hurdle is next then. This is a 0 to 120. The top one is Carmen Rouge Island for Alex Cherry. Aconitum half for James Shea. Viper Strike for Paul Rhodes. S uh, we've lost the card. Anyway, off they go then. And Sasta Nakam the Great is going to lead us into the first of these big looking flights of hurdles. And they're all safely negotiated the first. And now making their way to the second of the 11 flights. Pulling for its head is Mary Junior. And it's going to come to dispute the lead with Sasta Nakam. So it's Mary Junior on the near side then for Graham Clutterbuck with Sasta Nakam for Leon Van Rensburg in second. They've passed the winning post now now on a complete circuit or two of the track. I think it'll be two more times round with Mary Junior and Sasta Nakam disputing the lead. Gap men of about five lengths to Billy Vodden Tapper who's on the inside. Then comes Max and She's far ahead is after that one, and then comes La Paz Grape with Max and Aconitum half. Widest in the track is Romana, which is one of mine, and I'm not quite sure what she's doing in this because she's a chaser, and I must have accidentally put her in the wrong race. So there you go. <laughs> See what happens, it could be interesting. So Sasta Nakam then is the leader. Mary Jr. is second. Well, these hurdles look big enough to be fences anyway, so they might do us some good. Anyway, they all get over that one, and it's Sasta Nakam in the lead. Mary Jr. is second. Gap of a good six lengths back to Aconitum half in third. Then she's far red is in fourth, and then comes Max and La Paz Grape as they get to number three. And they're all safely over that one as well. With the grey Sasta Nakam now settled down in the lead with Mary Junior, the first of the Grand Principal horses in second. They get over flight number four. And the pace must be pretty hot as they're quite well spread out already, really, with Sasta Nakam in the lead by two lengths to Mary Junior second. Gap of five or six lengths then to She's Far Ed that's running in the wrong colours as well. So there's all sorts of problems with this race, it would seem with the card disappearing at the beginning and some of the horses running in the wrong colours so quite sure what's happened there there are two grand clutterbuck horses in the race and it may well be that mary jr is not one of his that's in second because he can't possibly have three in it so we'll have to try and figure that out at the end so they get over number five then so a bit of a disaster race so far this one starts to knock in the lead then mary jr is in second there's a big gap back then to she's far ed and that one is Graham Clutterbox also he's running in the wrong colours. Then Aconitum half of a Paz Grape Viper Strike. In fact, it looks like the whole field will pretty much are running in the wrong colours. Alex Cherry's Karma Ridge Island has got the right silks on. And my Romana's got the right silks on as well. Uh, I think Billy Vodden Tapper's got the right silks on. Jenny Jingle certainly hasn't. Um, and I don't think Aconitum half has either. It's, no, it's definitely not La Paz Grape because that's Paul Rhodes' colours and that is one of Vinnie Gerard's. So, have to sort of figure it out for yourselves, I'm afraid, because you can't really tell. But it's Sasta Nakam who's in the lead. That's definitely a Leon van Rensburg. And it's got the right silks on. So Mary Jr. is in second. And then a gap back to She's Far Ed and La Paz Grape. And then Aconitum Half. And then Max. And then Viper Strike and Billy Vodden Tapper. Then Jenny Jingles after that one. And Fluvial. And finally Karma Rouge Island and Romana, who doesn't appear to be enjoying the timber. But it's Sasta Nakam and Mary Jr. who lead over the seventh, which they all get over. With Cheese Firehead back in third, and La Paz Grape and Viper Strike. Aconitum Half is after that one, and then Max with Billy Vaughan Tapper as they get over number eight. There's three more to take then there. And Sasta Nakam has been in the lead pretty much all the way. Mary Jr. is in second. She's far ahead is in third. And then comes Viper Strike and La Paz Grape as they get over to third last. Sasta Nakam still in the lead. One or two sketchy jumps towards the back. Um, quite a few of these are pretty much out of it already. But it's Sasta Nakam in the lead then from Mary Jr. and Aconitum half now coming through with a challenge. She's far ahead is there. Max and Viper Strike trying to run on. So too is La Paz Grape. One running really wide on the track is Fluvial. But it's Sasta Nakam, who's still in the lead, then racing down towards the final couple of flights of hurdles. Sasta Nakam from Viper Strike and Aconitum Half. Then up the centre of the track, Max is beginning to run on, but Sasta Nakam now being cornered by the second grey Viper Strike. Then comes Aconitum Half. Over the second last they go, and Viper Strike landed in the lead. Viper Strike then has taken it up now and has got a length clear of Sasta Nakam in second. Beginning to run on again, his shoes far ahead. Max's runs come to an end as they get over the final flight, and there's Viper Strike in the lead, but Sasta Nakam is fighting back here. 
here comes she's firing on the outside she's firing is beginning to get up and on the inside now viper strike aconite to is coming back as well but it's she's firing from aconite to and it's far oh it's she oh it's close and then racing towards the line it's aconite to martha who's got up to take it she's firing his second mary jr is third and then fluvial and jenny jingle and ramara didn't like it at all and finished last and a bit of a Bit of a messy race all round there, really. We're losing the card and the wrong coloured silks, and I got myself tongue tied at the end as well. But the winning trainer won't mind. I can hide some half for James Shea, the winner. She's far in, and Mary Jr., second and third for Graham Clutterbuck. Sasta Nakam, the long time leader for Leon van Rensburg, was fourth, and Viper Strike for Ball Roads was fifth. And let's hope the next race runs a little bit more smoothly.